There are many ways to measure wealth in Minecraft Hardcore. You can have overpowered farms, infinite overpowered tools, or raw riches like this. However, I am very, very poor in diamonds, and we want to change that today. Because you know, I'm known as the Diamondo Man. I don't even have a stack of diamonds. Like, like what? That is way too little. So today I'm gonna mine without actually mining. Let me explain. What I'm gonna be making is a tunnel ball, which actually needs ancient debris to build. So I'm using wealth to get even more wealth. I'm gonna grab 24 of this. We actually only need six for the first part of this farm, but I'm gonna just build a lot of them. So it's even better, so I get even more resources. But let us first off collect all the items that I need for this machine. So we need a lot of slime. I'll just grab like all that I have. Need many, many pistons. I need way more than I have right here. And many, many of these needs to be sticky pistons. So we have so many pistons now. And we need uh, some uh, observers. Where do we have those? There we go. I want to get a lot more observers, but I don't really have the resources for that. Oh wait, do I think I do? Wait, we need some redstone blocks. That's for sure. What I'm also hoping I'll get a lot of in this mining trip is a lot of redstone. Like I'm just mining all the resources I can get. I need so many resources. I don't think you understand. We also, of course, need the TNT. Let's keep on crafting observers. There we go. That should be plenty. We also need some shroom light for this, apparently. Don't really know why. Then some slabs. And also some walls. We also need some dead coral fan. I'll just grab this fire coral fan that I have. And we also need some sandstone. Which I don't really understand. I'll just grab it. Probably there's a reason behind it. Also gonna grab some mine cards. And some detector rails. I need some more detector rails though. So how the hell do we craft that? I don't even remember. Haha. So detector rails. We don't need that much. Let's just get like, you know, 44. We also need a note block. Ah! <laughs> And I think this is pretty much all the items that we're gonna be needing for this. So now with this shulker box, we go into the mines. And immediately I'm just gonna grab my fortune pickaxe. I'm gonna be doing most of the mining with that pickaxe actually. The reason I do that is simple. And that is because I, you know, want the cobble deep slate, not the deep slate like because you can't craft it into any cool blocks and I need the deep slate also for building blocks. It's good that I have this tunnel straight down into the mines. We're gonna mine at minus 55, I think. I think that's gonna be the best for me. Oh, we're gonna do it at minus 53. So right here. Now we're just gonna need a lot of space for this so that I can actually build it. I brought a beacon. Will I use the beacon? I don't think so, actually. Because it's not like the beacon will have so many uses down here. It's not gonna be in the mine anyway, so we might as well just put it in here in the beacon chest. But let us just get a lot of space. Since we're just mining like this, I'm gonna do a little small montage until we have enough space to build this machine. Here we go. So I've stuck this little space here. I don't know if this is enough space, but I'm gonna try and build the tunnel ball now. So first things first, we need to get the ancient debris right here. So we can place this a little different. Place this like this. Oh, I think we can also take a little more space. <laughs> Scratch it. We build it right here. Then we gotta have a shroom light. And then an observer that goes into it. We have a sticky piston with a normal piston going into it. Have an observer with a wall. Now we place two stone slabs like this. A dead coral, TNT, and a shroom light. Then we have two slime like this. One on the coral, and then a slab. Then using these temporary blocks, we're gonna push this... Detects a rail with a minecart onto this room light. This is what is gonna, you know, activate the TNT and duplicate it. It's pretty straightforward. And I can already tell that I don't have nearly enough space for this. And we need a lot of space for this. It's actually pretty ridiculous. So let us keep mining backward. Okay, now we're ready to keep going. Here we're gonna have a piston and an observer pointing the other way. Then a redstone block with a slime block. And then we're gonna build another one of these TNT cannons. So let's just copy this. It's gonna be six blocks in between. Observer, coral, wall, TNT. We place these. Shroom light, two slime blocks, slime block up here with a wall. It's pretty crazy how fast you can actually like, you know, build this once you know where everything is going, etc. This is so speed running. It's looking the same. I think I built it right. Let's just keep going. There we go. Okay, you can so much speed run these. It's actually pretty insane. Okay, now we gotta go a lot of blocks out and place a piston with a slime and a sticky piston going the other way.
I hope I have enough space. Right now I'm pretty damn worried. <laughs> Cause I'm almost here at the edge. I have a sticky piston here, and I can tell that I need to get more space. Whatever I'm doing, I just need more space. I think if I just go three blocks further, then it's fine. And now I actually hope that it's it's fine. Hope this is the final time that I have to move. Also gotta have a redstone block up here, then place a couple... Wait, what? Why did this move? Wait, I did this wrong. It's not up here. Cause we gotta have a slime here, which is where I put the block of redstone. Here we have a piston. Place three more slime blocks. Redstone block. Leave a gap, and then place... A sticky piston. Oh, hello, my friend. Where are you coming from? Slime. Piston. Sticky piston going the other way. Then we do the same thing we did on the other side. So we gotta have a piston here. There we go. Now we gotta make the activate button. So here we need a block. Block of redstone. Wait, what? No, definitely not like that. Now we place this temporary block. A block of redstone. We have a sticky piston going into this. And then five slime blocks going like this. Then we need an observer going towards the build and also one over here. We have a piston, we have a node block, and then an observer going into this. And for the final thing, we just need a sandstone, sticky piston, and then a slime block. Now the final thing I need to do is just place a block of redstone on this piston. Break it, and it should move into place. Now I think we just have to press this and the ball will activate. Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> Boom, guys. And yes, the reason why you're using ancient debris for this is since it's not, you know, gonna blow up. And it can also be moved by a piston. Good news, obsidian for this. Otherwise, it would not be working. But I think we're gonna go a little just with these two machines. And then we're gonna widen it in a moment. And now we pretty much just, yeah, gotta keep it going. We can't spam this. Otherwise, it's gonna break the machine. So we just gotta wait. So now we just gotta wait until the TNT explodes. Then do it again. And in this way, you can just go through a lot of area, like, very, very fast. It's at least faster than mining it manually. Because that's just so slow. See how long it takes me to find some diamondo. Found some redstone. Definitely want that. But I feel like diamond is so rare at the moment. Like, like why? Where's all the diamondo, guys? But this is fun. Way to mine. Wait, I think we also have to break down this gravel here. Otherwise, it's gonna, you know, break the machine. Mine all of this away. Also, collect this gold and the redstone. I feel it's pretty insane. We haven't found anything so far. I feel that maybe I should build a lot more of these machines. Yeah, I definitely think I should do that. This is good, but I need to explore even more area. So I think we need to get space all the way to out here. So it's a pretty big area. I'm gonna try and use a little TNT for this, just to speed it up. I'm gonna try and count how many blocks we need to go out. So, one... So there's a massive cave right here. Wait, there's so many monsters. Uh... Hello, guys. Can I find some diamond in this cave? Look at all of these creepers, man. How there's so many monsters? Look at all of this redstone. Hello, idiot. It's actually pretty ridiculous that there's so many monsters here. Like, what is happening? Oh. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's pretty fun that there's this many monsters, but still, like... Oh my god, I sent him flying. They're not gonna hurt me, man. You guys are stupid for trying to kill me. What? Aren't you here? Oh. Let's see if I can use some TNT for this. In hindsight, I probably should have made a beacon. Because I didn't think there would be this much that I had to, you know, mine down. But there's so much area I need to mine down that would have made sense just to use a beacon. So blow you up, blow you up, blow you up. Oh! oh yeah, it's definitely worth using TNT for this because that makes it a lot easier. There's so many monsters! Ah! But I think we're almost at the edge now. Oh my god, this is taking... Way longer than I thought it would. <laughs> but I'm gonna be able to use this tunnel ball, like, forever, basically. Which is gonna be very, very cool. That's a good thing about this design, that it's just... I'm gonna be able to use it forever. Ah! The incredible thing is, we have still not found one piece of diamond ore. Ah, oh, he's angry at me. Oh, wait, we found diamonds! Yes! At long last. Took a while, but finally we can start getting rich. Is it only a two vein? Oh my god. <laughs> The first diamond we find, it's get blown up, so I don't get the fortune, and then it's also only a two vein. So I might as well not have gotten anything either. But at least it shows that um, I can get diamond ore in my world. I have honestly been a little worried because I've just been mining here for so long without finding anything. I miss uh, the good old days of mining for diamonds because you actually got diamonds while mining for diamonds. Now you just don't get, you know, anything. I'm gonna place a little light around here so I don't have as many monsters as I have here right now. And now let's keep building these tunnel balls. Okay. He picked up my shulker box, that idiot. Oh my god, there's so many monsters. I think I'm gonna try and build all of these at the same time. So just like do it like these. Do the TNT's room light. TNT's room light. So far, so good. Okay, I 
think I got it. I'm gonna do one more thing and that's quickly just mine this a little away. Just to make sure I did this right. Because I think I might need one more space over here. Just gotta make sure that the farm will not uh, break on itself. I don't know if I built this right. I did this very, very speed run <laughs> style. So, uh, will it work? We will see. Now the final things that I need to add are these sticky pistons. So like this, like this, this, and then finally like this. Boom. I think it is right. Okay, boys, do we think this will work? If you think this entire tunnel bar will work, write Diamondo Diamondo in the chat, guys. Let us see. Oh my god. I think it worked. I mean, it seemed that all of them shut and went forward and everything seems to be working. I think we got it, boys. Now we just have to find the beautiful Diamondo. Just look at this. Boom. <laughs> yes. Yes, guys, it's working. It is working. I just have to find big veins. Okay, wait, this vein is actually pretty big. This is just what we need more of. And of course, you can keep on extending this. So if I want to have even more luck after getting Diamondo, I just, yeah, build more tunnel balls like this. Oh my god, goodbye. Bad. Oh, wait, no, there was a diamond, but it mined it. Oh my god, Diamondo, guys. Oh my god, guys, look what I found. Oh, yes, it looks like an 8 it, It's a 9 vein. Yes. We're finally getting here. Oh my god, I'm so happy. No longer will I be a peasant in the Diamondo. That's also like the worst way to be a peasant with Diamondo. Like, imagine not having any diamonds, guys. Cringe. The difficult thing is seeing, like, do I get diamonds over here? So maybe I made this too long because running back and forth, you know, it takes some time. Yes, more. Oh ha! Okay, this strategy is, you know, actually pretty damn effective. I was a little worried it would be the same thing that I did, like, with my netherite mining machine thing. Like, it blew up a lot of space, but you didn't really get much ancient debris because setting it all up wasn't very effective and there was always lava everywhere. But this is just, like, very smooth. I only have to push one thing and just keeps on going. And I hope in this way I can also find some slime chunks down here. So a place where only, like, you know, slimes can spawn. Yes! Okay, I actually found some. <laughs> I have 24 ore. The ones I'm really going, like, it's actually really fast. Would I advise that you do this yourself? It purely depends on, like, how long you plan to mine for. Like, I plan that in this world I'm gonna get a lot of diamonds, so, you know, might as well set up this machine here. But, for example, if you, like, only need just a few diamonds, don't build this machine. It's too much of a hassle to do. You also need to use ancient debris for it. Ooh, -hoo, there's even more. And it looks like a big vein. An 8 vein. Let's go. Yes! Oh, 38 diamonds. And of course, we still have to fortune all of this. So th what we're getting right now is just the ores. Then I want to mine it down at the end of the episode. See how much I got from mining with this tunnel bore. Oh, -ho. I got was telling me that there was would be diamonds up here. Yes. Yes, there's double luck here. Wait, there's even more luck. There's also here. And also more right over here. This was a good, uh, good explosion. Revealed so much diamonds to me. We have 51 so far. Yes. I'd gone for a while without any diamonds, but finally we have some more. So now we have 56. Oh my god, that looks fun. But still, we're not finding that many diamonds. Is it just me or is diamond mining like a little too difficult in uh, this update? Because like... I went through so much area and we've only found 56 ore. I don't actually know how good this is. Like, how much diamond am I even getting right now? Is this even good? I cannot tell. I don't have enough experience mining like this. The best mining in the old days were definitely beacon mining because you just discovered such a big area so fast. It's so fun when he's like pushed by the machine. Watch this. Wait, oh, he just went into the block. I'm gonna do like five minutes more. Hopefully we find some diamond. Wait, there's some skull guy can hear. That is pretty creepy. Am I gonna run into an ancient city? That would actually be really cool. Although it might just only be a deep dark. Yeah, I'm in a deep dark right now, it says. I would like to find one more vein of Diamondo. I'm gonna use the machine three more times. Let's hope we find some Diamondo. Yes! We did actually find some Diamondo. It's such a small deep dark. Why is there even a deep dark here? I'm not in the understanding. Final one. Do we get any diamond here? In the end. And do we have any diamonds? It does not seem like it. Still, we got 57 ore. I, I don't know if this is any good. Like, is this a good amount of diamond in this time that I spent? I cannot tell. 
But look at the space that we have now. I have not gotten any slime spawns, which is pretty weird. But look at how far we've went. But the good thing is we now have this tunnel ball we can use whenever we need more diamonds or redstone or anything really. Now let's grab these shulker boxes. Grab my ender chest. Then let's go up and see what loot we got. 58 diamond ore. How much will that be once I have fortuned it all? So these are all of the ores that we got in their ore format. And also, you know, some of it, you know, blew up from the machine. Let's go out and mine and see how much we get. Let's start with the redstone. That's probably the most, like, useful item I've gotten from this quest here. Because I just need, you know, a lot of redstone for all my redstone machines. Like, I've just been running out all of the time. Don't really have a comfortable amount of redstone. I just need... Redstone is just an item where I don't want to, you know, have to worry about having it. I just want to have it. Let's mine it down. Aha! Phantoms, get out of here. I have a cat. You're not gonna get close to me, you dumb idiots. I feel like I'm getting so much redstone here. Oh my god. So this is how much redstone I got in total. Really, really good amount, actually. Then I'm only gonna mine the deep slate diamond ore. I'm not gonna mine the deep slate gold ore or the lapis or the iron because, you know, I don't really need these resources. So there's no reason for me to remove them out of their ore state. Might need the ore for some builds or at some point, maybe. Hello, cat. How are you doing? And that is the diamonds. So this is how much diamond we got. Uh, yeah. Let's see if we're lucky with the fortune. So far, it seems that I'm not very lucky. Almost at a stack. There we are at a stack. Okay, we're almost at two stacks. And of course, we also have three in here. So we got two stacks and two diamonds. Which now brings my total to almost three stacks. I still am very, very poor. But at least now I'm just a little bit richer. Also, we take these items here. Put these down here in the ore chest. We also have 41 more deep slate diamond ore in here. Now the redstone. That's the most beautiful thing. How many blocks can we get? Almost two stacks of blocks. Let's go. I have redstone again. Yeah. Final thing I'm going to do is go ahead and buy some more food. Why is there a block here? An enderman has placed a block here. What an idiot. Hello, hello. I'm here to rob you, my friend. Give me some food. Also, you give me food. Here, I just want money. Now, almost all of my tools are now healed. But I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to drop a like down below subscribe if you're new thank you all so much for the amazing support and my name is Chihita. thanks for watching